स्क्विंट और स्ट्रेबिस्मस आई एम डॉक्टर गोयल फ्रॉम संजीवन फॉर परफेक्ट आईसाइट मुंबई टूडे टॉपिक इज स्क्विंट स्क्विंट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रेबिस्मस इन हिंदी इट्स कॉल्ड एज तिरछी आईज भेंगापन टेढ़ी आंखें एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा The meaning of squint is when the both eyes are not aligned in the center. Either one eye or both eyes going towards the nose, or going outside towards the ears, or going upward towards the forehead, or going downward towards the chin. If any eye goes inside. towards the nose is called as esophoria or esotropia when the eye go outside towards the ear outside is called as exophoria or exotropia when it goes upwards called as hyperphoria when it goes downwards called as hypophoria either one eye or both eyes mostly it happens in one eye it can be alternate also now this is when eyes are not aligned in the center is are called as squint or strabismus every eye is controlled by brain eyes are part of brain in mother's womb when the brain starts developing of a child same time the two eye buds also develops so eyes are part of brain every eye is aligned by brain only in all human beings now what are the causes of squint squint can be hereditary it runs in family generation to generation in the family it may happen that or secondly it can be with amblyopic eye if eye is not having vision good like other eye that is called as amblyopic eye we had talked in other video when the vision is less comparative to two eyes one is having less vision other is having better vision than this eye the brain gives command to the better eyes and leaves the affected eye or amblyopic eye which sends the eye up down left right or in out so amblyopia is also a big cause of it is written that overcoming the visual defect for some is near sight far prop far objects are difficult to see without the refractive correction we want to see the far objects giving the stress and strain to the eyes can develop squint or when the fusion is not there with the brain coordination and fusion is not proper brain and eyes that can also develop squint the fusion may be for near vision or far vision If it is not corrected, if it is not proper, that can also be due to squint or any other organic problems where vision get hampered in one eye. Other eye is better. The mind starts accepting the better eye leads to squint. So there are so many causes of squint, as I said. So these squints should be corrected. Otherwise. There are so many problems start in the life. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of this? Signs and symptoms you can see: the one eye is straight, other eye is going out or in, up or down. Can be seen easily from outside. The squint is there. Sometimes it is hidden squint. It is being seen only on the photograph, or when the person is serious, or person is having some illness. or person is not comfortable by brain then you see this kind of other we don't see this kind or sometime when they are squinting to adjust the vision they can tilt their head or when the vision is not proper in the squinted eye they try to squeeze the eyes to make the pin hole to see better there are so many symptoms which can Tell us the person is having a squint. As I said, it may be one eye or both eyes. Now, if somebody is suffering with this one, what is the treatment of this? Treatment is surgical or non-surgical. 
First, whatever is goes on today in the world is surgical treatment. What happens in surgery? Every eye is suspended with the four group of muscles of eyes. Up, down, left, right. Superior rectus, inferior rectus, middle rectus, lateral rectus by name. Or two oblique muscles behind. These six group of muscles are maintaining all eye movements. Suppose any eye is going outside, exophoria. To bring in, we have to tight or reset the inner muscle called a middle rectus and relax outside muscles, the little rectus, to overcome the squint or the alignment, misalignment. So bring it down in the center. That what happens in squint surgery. Mainly you can say that where the eye is going, that side muscle to be relaxed. When we want the eye to come on other side to be tightened muscles or to resect, to bring it in the center. Now this surgery is, we are doing it for the eyes. Nothing has happened for the brain. We are not creating a fusion. There is no fusion. If it is a fusion problem, if it is a coordination, if the brain and eye is not there, if the vision is less, that is not been corrected. And if it is organic problems, that is been not corrected by surgery. So what are the side effects of surgery? What are the complications of surgery? What are the sequelae of the surgery? Due to these things which I said just now, the mind will not accept the eye which is having a lesser vision which is squinted eyes. So mind will leave the eye again and mainly, mainly the eye will go in another direction because that side, other direction, muscle has been tightened or shortened. That's what happened in surgery. So every surgery may not be successful. Surgery can be successful in a case when the coordination is proper, fusion is proper, when they are having six by six vision in both eyes. Structurally, everything is normal, then the surgery can be possible, success of the surgery can be possible. Otherwise, generally I have seen the surgery is not, not having a success, 100% recovery is not there. So we have, because we are operating only the eye, not the brain. So we have to create a fusion between brain and eye. We have to create a fusion, coordination of the brain and eyes, improve the vision, take care of the problem, what is there behind the screen, then it can be corrected. That naturally it was that uh, what is happening now is the surgical processes for the screen or second part, Without surgery, non-surgical. In non-surgical, suppose a person is amyloping, the eye is having less vision, then we have to improve vision by anyhow. As I said, the vision therapy, electrical function, natural nutrition supplement. There are so many ways which we follow in natural nutrition. Sanjeevan for perfect eyes in Mumbai have a wonderful uh, results in amyloping and squint. So we have to improve vision, create the coordination between brain and eyes and create the fusion and then it can be taken care of. The main important treatment of squint which we follow in Sanjeevan for Perfect Eyesight Mumbai is vision therapy. Vision therapy which we provide here is a wonderful treatment for squint because we create all these things required for the alignment. We have to align the eye with the brain. We have to train brain to accept both eyes together. We improve vision of that affected eye. We create the, uh, the coordination in between brain and eyes. If any problem, other problems are there, we want to take care of these problems also. As, as I said, amblyopia, we have to improve vision in amblyopia. Then only brain starts accepting the eye and the eye comes in the center. I've seen here since 2004, people are improving very well. It takes time because in natural method, we are not operating them, but results are very, very good. Then if they can follow the good habits of the eyes, we also provide that so they can maintain the good eye health and maintain the alignment of the eyes. So non-surgical treatment is very, very good of the eye without any complications. 
because surgery is surgery any invasive procedure may have its side effects in natural process vision therapy as i said there is no side effect if vision is very less and having certain other complications then we provide vision therapy natural nutrition supplement electroacupuncture etc etc because integrated methods are here in sanjeevan for perfect eyes in mumbai where we use more than one therapies to get the results required next is complications what are the complications of cpd of the squint as i said squint is there when eye is going in or out up or down and other eye is in the center if it is one eye squinting so cosmetically it is not looking nice the person leave the confidence they have the less confidence they are not good in job they are not good in life they have lot of infinity complexes second diplopia they may develop diplopia because one eye is looking straight other eye is looking either in or out so when he is looking out then this eye will see this way and this eye will see this way if it is going in this eye will see this way this eye will see this way so there will be two images are there of one object because one eye is having a different direction from the other eye other eye in the center and the affected eye is not in the center on the same time when the other eye is in the center so they may affect they may have two images because as i said mind except the better eye to confirm this statement if you cover the good eye the bad eye which is going to guide automatically comes in the center because mind doesn't have option of two eyes now because one eye is being closed at the only one eye is there the mind has to take care of the vision by that eye only so the automatically eye comes in the center that shows when the two options are there the brain the brain except the better eye in comparison to the affected eye so diplopia is there chances sometime the other complication may very much much vision a deprivation or you got poor vision can be possible because the affected eye which is not seen in the center is not comfortable with the brain so brain start accepting the better eye so this start leaving 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 so vision can be deteriorated so these all complications can be there in squint but in the summary natural vision improvement with the vision therapy electroacupuncture natural nutrition supplement and other uh, integrated methods which we follow in sanjeevan for perfect eyes in mumbai are best and very good for treating sight that much i will talk in this video see you in the next video with another topic if you want to contact us uh, you can contact us on the uh, all details described below thank you you can contact on 9324 0702 you can visit our site www.sanjeevan.in or you can contact us on or mail us on info@sanjeevan.in